<laughs> All right, guys, I'm here in Pennsylvania at Garage Strength. PA, baby. <laughs> Dane here um, put me through a little bit of a workout, showed me a new exercise, which is pretty cool. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and learn some cool things. So many. Some of them are so cool. Yeah, they're we really cool. We have like a rainbow Charizard or something. Yeah. It's sick. It's yeah. so cool. I was like, I should start collecting the new ones. I was, yell I was yelling at him because he had just the V-Max in that same car, but he, he sold it to his cousin. And I'm like, why would you sell that? And now he's like, I'm going to get it back from him. What's your background, Tasha? Uh, like sports? I played a bunch of sports in elementary school. So elementary school, I was like on every sports team. And then in high school, I was like, I was a little more, more of a shy kid. So I was kind of too nervous to try out for sports. But I played touch football um, in school and outside of school the most. And then in high school, I took like this women's fitness like only course. And that's what really got me started into fitness. Okay. Yeah. And then I competed in two figure or three figure shows. And then kind of switched to more strength style okay. with bodybuilding. How'd you do in the shows? Um, my first one I didn't place at all, so I did the exact same show a year later and I got first in overall. And then the second show was the Toronto Pro Show and I got third. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, they were fun, but I definitely <laughs> Dude, that's strict as fuck too. Fuck. That's why I haven't done, like that was back in like 2012, 13 and 14. And I just, yeah, it was fun, but like you miss out on so much things. Like I like food, like I want to enjoy life a yeah, little yeah, bit. So yeah. it was fun, but I kind of like what I'm doing now because I can live a little bit more and yeah. enjoy things more, but. How old are you? 29. Okay. mess up the microphone by moving it. <laughs> it's good. No, I have a coach, a uh, coach as well, mm -hmm. um, from Hybrid Performance Method. Uh, his name's Hayden, and he does all my programming. Oh, programming. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's like powerlifting with bodybuilding accessories. So I usually have like my main heavy lift, like whether it's squat, deadlift, bench, and then I'll have bodybuilding style accessories, but they'll transition into helping with the main lifts. It's fun. I kind of like doing both because I started off doing um, bodybuilding. So it's kind of cool to have like the strength aspect, lifting heavy shit, and then getting the bodybuilding accessory stuff or the pump. Natasha, can you teach me how to sumo deadlift? Uh, I can try. <laughs> <laughs> 
I warm up super slow. <laughs> I kind of like taking my time. Just to make sure. What would be a standard rep scheme for you if you're doing like, let's say like you're in a hypertrophy phase, like maybe you just had a comp, you come out of your comp and it's like, all right, I want to get back into shape, try and get a little bit, try and get stronger, but build like a good base. What would you do rep scheme wise as far as hypertrophy? Um, I've never done a competition before, so I'm not too sure how different it would be. I would assume like when I get close to competing, I would probably stop doing like the hypertrophy because yeah. I have a lot of that in there already. Um, but it's a good question. I'm assuming my RPEs probably wouldn't be as high. They'd be a little lower and we'd probably ease back into the hypertrophy. But like right now it's in my program and it's anywhere from like eight reps to 20. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. So as, as you warm up, what are you really trying to focus on, like especially with squats, like right now you're going to be going moderately heavy, like decently heavy. What are you trying to feel or what are you trying to focus on? Um, just like make sure my form is good, everything feels good, nothing's like restricting or feeling tight. And then just making sure. I feel like I could probably take bigger jumps than I usually do, but I'm always afraid of like possibly injuring if I go too fast, like too heavy. Right. But at the same time, if I go so slow warming up, it might tax me out too. So I'm trying to get better with not taking a small jumps, but. So when we were doing, when we were warming up and, and going through everything, one of the things that you were doing, you were doing like basically like a, sort of like a pistol squat on the bench. Is that something that you do, one, as like a leg focus warm up so that you stimulate, you know, both sides evenly, get your knees loosened up, or is it just like a habit? Um, kind of a habit and kind of, getting the knees warmed up making sure like the range of motion is good and everything feels good okay yeah. okay yeah just so i don't start right into squats right away so i kind of have some some little warm-up I'm slowly going. <laughs> yeah, I usually time my rest periods just so I don't like take too long or too short. Um, I probably could go without doing it, but I've been doing it for so long that it's just, I guess like a habit or just always do it. Go up, let's go, good. Come on. Go up, up, up. Good. That was nice too. Honestly, I think the last, when I did go heavy with squats, I'm pretty sure it was 350. So you're gonna do another one or you're done? Should I go heavier? Yeah, one more. <laughs> yeah? Well, that's 330, you go 340. So just take off five and two and a half and go 10? Yeah, oh. 10 and two. 10 and two? 
This is the heaviest I've gone in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Up fast, good, good. Up, 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 up. Good. Nice. That was good. Why don't we do walking lunges and then the single leg leg press? Like a super set? Yeah. Sure. Is that all right? You can do that. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> what? You got to do it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do one set of each. This is like, you know, usually my unilateral accessory would be just doing the sled. Yeah? You count yeah. that as unilateral? Yeah. Like I would just be like push, pull, 10 to 12 lengths, and then I'm done in like five minutes. That's actually what you should be doing. Sleds? <laughs> yeah, just for fun. I don't, I don't know if you actually do it. Um, yeah, it's been in my program a couple times, like a little while ago. There's no sled at the gym I go to right now, but I honestly did like it. It was good. I have a sled at, like at home that I could just do, or that I did do when COVID happened, and I didn't right. just like go out in the, in the go uh, out of the street. driveway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And just push some sleds. All right, My cardio do, right now is terrible though. So I'll do uh, Maybe I'll just do walking lunges with a body weight, but if you want to use a plate or dumbbells, you can. I'm just a little lazy. For lunges? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was actually doing, because there's no space at my gym either to do walking ones. So I was supposed to do barbell walking lunges. Okay. But there's no space there, so I just did alternating back step lunges. So maybe I'll do, should I do dumbbells or barbell? Use dumbbells. Yeah, use dumbbells. Dumbbells? Yeah. Okay. And how many lunges do you usually go for? Like 10? Well, so with this, I would go like down, back, down, back, down, back, down, back. So like 40, like yeah. 40 reps sort of thing? Yeah. And I would just go straight through and then that would be it. Like just one set? For me, because I'm lazy. And I would do like the same thing on leg press. I would get on a leg press and I'll do like one or two sets to loosen up. And then I'll do like one set that's like 40 reps and I'm good. That's crazy. Yeah. Mine was like, what was my, so my lunges, they were, they were, Four by four sets of forty. Four sets of forty. Yeah, and then like the leg press, the single leg leg press, five sets. That one was only five sets of twelve. That's not terrible. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's. Those more lunges reasonable. like killed me though. Oh my god, I was like, I'm so out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> I'll probably do twenty. You're gonna do twenty straight with the sixties. Yeah. Holy shit. God, I feel like a bitch. <laughs> I'll probably die, but. I'm, I'm going body weight <laughs> and I'm not, I don't feel bad either. <sighs> My legs are already feeling it. You also did more deadlifts than I did squats. I'm just dying. I gotta do more cardio. Good, and then like a three to four second eccentric. That's probably not nearly enough weight for Natasha since she just doubled 340 on the back squat. She could probably do this on one leg for 30 reps. Oh, she also just did walking lunges with 60s while I was crying. Natasha is requesting 100 pound dumbbells for sets of 40. <laughs> Although I think I might have to make it a little shorter.
Do you have any specific technique that you usually use? For these? Yeah. Um, I kind of like making them like, I'm just gonna lower it one more. I kind of like making it uh, glute ham focus. Okay. So when I come up, I think about like really trying to focus on squeezing with the glutes and at the bottom kind of like getting a nice stretch in the hamstring. So sometimes like I'll do weighted ones, but more so if I'm doing like body weight ones, I'll like really reach oh, behind shit. here to yeah, get really that, like, it. nice stretch. Yeah, and that's then, like, good. Come up focusing on squeezing with like glutes. Okay. Yeah, I like that a lot. I know Natasha's done uh, seated good mornings at maybe at some point with a barbell, but typically you'll do them standing. Usually, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is something that I like to use seated. And again, I stole this directly from John Meadows and I'll show you two different uh, examples here. So you go here, get a little hug, right? Try and round and then arch, round, arch. You only get like 17 to 20 reps, boom. And the deeper you get, you'll start to feel that in your groin as well while getting that nice back pump. And it's almost like a Zercher deadlift, right? So you can get here. Oh. If you want to do it standing, you get a little more hamstrings involved. That's a really good exercise that I think targets that posterior chain a ton and you'll get a massive back pump. Oh, my lower back. I was going to say, so is it more like low back versus like glute hemi? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I think it's like low back and then if, if you do, like let's say you do 15 to 20 seated, stand up and get like another 10 to 15 standing. Okay. That's when you'll start to feel the hamstrings take over. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I never do good mornings for like low back. It's more for like hammy's glutes. Yeah, so when you would do a good morning with a barbell, you're going to be yeah. sort of like here. Exactly, yeah. I just kind of like have it here and I like hinge, try to like think about like getting that stretch in the hamstrings. And yeah, okay. So like training, basically training for like that lockout and the top of the deadlift. Yeah. I don't even know if I can round. I'm so bad with like, like round Feeling rounding. That? Yeah. yeah. I'm so good at having bad technique. Okay. So I don't know if I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. That's you're like flat back. You're not rounding, but is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> okay. I would say try to round at the bottom and arch at the top. Okay. See if you get like 15 to 20, somewhere in there. And then you can just stand, like raise that butt up a little bit off the box and then we'll just do like 10 without the box. Yeah, right there, that's good. That's where you can really feel the hinge. And now you should start to feel your hamstrings take over. Bring those hips through at the top. Good. Feel like three more. Good, good, that was good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, those are hard.
Oh, oh fuck, these are hard. Holy crap. That's pretty good. Creep. I don't know why I did 15. I should have done 10 and 10. You gonna do one more set of each? Yeah. Holy crap. Natasha has the best model on YouTube. Just film lifts. <laughs> and be like, hey, the first video I ever watched of yours was you doing lap pull down with a band. Oh, in like the, my garage? Yeah. <laughs> That was like the first video, I, I think I might have even been looking up like a year ago, like workouts, like at home COVID workouts, because we were on lockdown again. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just check things out. And it was you doing that, like sort of just laughing about it. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, you definitely had to get creative. Yeah. <laughs> kind of dreading this last one. Not these, these are easy, but those. Oh boy. Just don't like dying slightly. Shit. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, now you gotta do glue ham. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Holy crap. I would just think like you could hold and try and have minimal sway. Yeah, and then you can go here to finish that out like a massive superset. So like. So like like 10 and 10, yeah. like 10 and 15? Probably 10 and 15, I think. The first one's a little harder and it's just like focusing on staying stable. Like I would say really hammer your heels into the plate, squeeze your butt and try and think about your, your hips coming forward from the hammies. And then as you go through the full range, then it's like feel them lengthen, come up, feel them lengthen, come up. I see it. No, that's all you. I'm, dude, I'm too old and bald. <laughs> You're not too old. Well, I'll probably do it and then I'll fix the, uh, the length. Let's go, Natasha. So, Natasha's got a good back pump from the seated good mornings, the Zercher good mornings, you could possibly call them. Good. Good. Perfect. Yeah. as I just knock everything over. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching uh, today's video. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but I've got one up now. I'm here in Pennsylvania at Garage Strength. Um, did a posterior chain workout. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, keep an eye out for some more videos coming soon.